We are actually quite lucky because we are going to see how the truck looks like underneath the cabin. Uh, but first they're gonna have to lift up the cooler system for the box on the truck. Uh, and then they're going to flip the cabin over. Uh, and it's going to be so interesting to see how it looks like. Uh, so we're going to let this guy flip the cabin open and see what we can find. So here we are with our first truck and it's the E-Actros and we have just flipped the cabin over for you to be able to see how it looks like underneath. Um, so we are going to go up here. And usually here there used to be a big diesel engine uh, but here we have our 24 volt batteries. Uh, and this one we have to be able to start up the truck and to be able to get everything to work. Uh, so here in the back we have the power steering pump uh, and that is for the steering. Uh, and here in the front we have the electrical compressor uh, and that is for the air suspension and for the brakes. Uh, and you see this little black thing here uh, and that is actually to make a little bit more noise. Uh, so when people are walking they can hear the truck because the truck is so quiet. If you are driving over 25 kilometers an hour that buzzer turns off which makes the truck even more quiet. But the real power comes from here, it's from the batteries. On this truck we have four batteries, so it's one, two, three and four, uh, and each battery is 740 kilos. Uh, each battery is about 100 kilometers each, so this truck can go about 400 kilometers on one loading. Uh, if you check over here, you have the power station where you can load the truck, and you load it with 150 kilowatts. Uh, the engine and the gearbox is actually inside the drive axle. Uh, you can't really see it from here, but it's, it's there. I'm going to go forward a little bit because I have so short legs. <laughs> um, so we're going to start it up and see what happens. Is it on? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice it started. <laughs> it's very quiet. I can't even notice that the truck is on. <laughs> We are going out for a test run, uh, just to see how the truck feels and how it behaves and how it works. And I just think it's so cool that the truck is so quiet. It's like the only thing you can hear is the tires going onto the asphalt, which is pretty cool. Um, but overall, I think this truck is just like any other truck, except that it's so quiet. And uh, of course, it's so much better for the environment to drive electric. And... Um, I just think it's a super nice truck, uh, very quiet, very nice to drive. Uh, I don't really like the backup cameras, I prefer the regular mirrors, uh, but that's something that you can choose if you like. We are going to go and load the truck up so you can see how that works and then we're going to go to the test court. Um, 
just going to change the steering wheel a little bit and um, to be able to start it you have to press the foot on the brake and then you push on the button to start so now it's starting up and since it's so quiet I don't know if it started yet but I think so it's very very quiet uh, and now you see the red button here, the blue one, it means that it started and it's super super quiet. The only thing you can hear right now is probably the air condition. The truck is on uh, and here you can see all of the features. Um, this is like when you're starting up in a hill, driver level. Here you can change if you want the truck to be higher or lower. We don't have any rear camera yet. This one, if you are charging the truck and you're going to start at 6 a.m. at the morning, you can just put the alarm in that at 6 o'clock uh, you want the truck to be warm. So you can just set the alarm, but you have to have the truck plug in to the log station. So everything is like touch screen, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And I just learned something new, this button. It means if you are stuck, you can just swing back and forwards and then you get out from a snow or if it's muddy or something like that uh, and here we have our backup cameras we have one there and one there and for me this is super weird and you can see pretty good but it's still a little bit i'm unused to it but you probably have to drive for a while to get the feeling of it um, i prefer the regular mirrors but I think it's something that you get used to whatever you are driving with. So we also have some different kind of driver programs. So right now we are on power. Uh, this means we can go really fast. Uh, and then we can change it to range, which means that it takes so a little battery as possible just to be able to get as far as you can. The economy is for the cheapest possible. And here we have the tank or the batteries, you can say. And right now we can come 264 kilometers so you know when the truck is on when it says ready here on the display because you can't really hear when it's on <laughs> you're gonna have to check there because it's really quiet now we're going to the loading station We are going to refill the batteries on the truck and so we are just going to take this one, number two. We're going to plug it in here, so we open up and to be able to open the locks to the charger we have to open it and plug in the charger. And then you can hear the sound of the batteries. And now we can see it's a yellow light here. So now it's connecting to the charger. And when it's a flashing green light, you know it's charging. Uh, and when it's completely green, you know it's fully loaded. You can also see here on the screen how much battery you have right now in the truck. So we have 66% uh, and we're going up to 80. So we're all then loading up to 80% because it's healthier for the batteries. And also to be able to use the retarder and the energy from the battery will go back in the front again to be able to use it. It takes about an hour to fill up the batteries. So it's perfect when you are driving and you need to have your four to five minutes break. You can just recharge while you are on your break. And for safety reasons, uh, we have to, we can't just plug out the, the charger. We need to turn the power off. And then we'll wait for a little while and then we open up the charger. And we'll pull it out.
we are heading to the test course and uh, it was actually closed today but there was no trucks there so we are going to go there and it's going to be super cool because I have never been on a test track before uh, so this is the first time which is really cool so let's jump in and try it out you can see the energy flows the abs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Noch einmal zurückfallen lassen. Today has been so much fun and I am super grateful and happy that Daimler invited me over here to Germany uh, and it was really awesome to try out their electric truck, the e -Actros. and I am super happy and I wouldn't mind if I drove an electric truck or a diesel truck, it's kind of like, it's a truck, uh, I'm not so much into details about trucks but if a truck can go on electricity and be as powerful as it is, uh, I don't see why we can't drive around with an electric truck. Uh, but I mean, this truck is more like a city truck. Uh, you can come 400 kilometers, like 40 Swedish miles, that is really far. So you can drive a whole day with this truck and then charge it during the night and then just go again on the morning. And... Uh, I just think it was an awesome day and I'm really happy and glad that I have been here and tried it out. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video too and that you find it interesting to see how the electric truck works. And so just press like if you liked it, subscribe and more videos will keep coming. Have an awesome evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!